Good evening everyone. I am thrilled to have been invited to take part in this fantastic event and I too would like to begin by acknowledging the Ngunnawal people who are the traditional custodians on the land on which we are meeting and pay my respect to Elders of the Ngunnawal Nation both past and present and acknowledge any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here this evening. <coughs> Our current leaders have an aspiration that the ACT and the surrounding region is a hub of innovation, creativity and becomes the knowledge capital of Australia. The image of a city that is one young people will choose to come and study, work, live, be part of the next big thing and be in one of the most livable cities in the world is an exciting one. I too want the ACT to be a place where young people can live and create their own future and to contribute to the community where everyone can share in the benefits of this amazing city. The reality is we have many children and young people who already call Canberra home and they don't see themselves in this future. The Tawadon region has the highest number of people in the ACT who fall into the most disadvantaged 20% of all 15 to 64-year-old Australians at 24%. The Australian Early Learning Development Census of 2015, which provides the national snapshot for children in their first year of school, highlighted that 17% of children in the Tuggeranong region were considered developmentally vulnerable. Is this acceptable that in a city that it aspires to be the knowledge capital in Australia is potentially leaving so many children and young people behind? The digital divide and poverty of opportunity is real and a lived experience for young people in the Canberra, Canberra and the surrounding region. If you grow up without internet in your home, you are socially disadvantaged and educationally disadvantaged. 20% of Australian families don't even have internet access in their home. The reasons are complex, and while I do not pose to hold the answer to all of, these, all of these problems, I want to set a challenge that we do not ignore the need to provide pathways for all young people to achieve their potential, find their possible, and be included in the talent investment in this city. Our first ambitious idea was to provide a creative, out-of-school learning space for young people from underserved communities to work with adult mentors. The YWCA Clubhouse was launched in October 2014 in collaboration with Richardson Primary School. It is the first of its kind in the ACT and part of a global network of 100 clubhouses in 19 countries. The program allows young people to develop new skills, explore their ideas and build confidence in themselves through science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics and the use of technology. The Clubhouse Learning Approach empowers young people from all backgrounds to become capable, creative and confident learners and importantly it connects them to mentors and encourages pathways into future careers. Since its establishment, the Clubhouse membership has grown to 170 members of which 25% are female, 15% are from Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander backgrounds and it supports young people who have been in the juvenile justice system. We are continually working to attract new members to the clubhouse using innovative, innovative solutions like holding, holding Girls Only Day and Tech Time, time Challenges that we held in the Tuggeranong Hyperdome last week which saw young people battling out with their own made robots. So the clubhouse model is built on four guiding principles that are designed to promote positive youth outcomes. To sum it up though, I want to use the members' words of their experience of the computer clubhouse. In the members' words, if you come to the clubhouse, you get to create anything your mind can think of, and it's very fun, because what the clubhouse is all about is love and being friends, also letting your talents go wild. It's really fun. It's a place where you can express yourself without judgement. It also has a 3D printer and recording studio. You get to know yourself more. It's a calm place. And that... Oops, somebody else's picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's a calm place. 
And that has distracted me from my problems and has gotten me away from the stress of school and home. So in just under two years of opening the doors, members have had a chance to participate in work experience opportunities, start their own businesses um, and be part of the community. We need more of all of the above. We need support from industry. We need mentors. So become a mentor, sponsor a film production and open it, sponsor a 3D design. Invest in a young person who already calls Canberra home. Thank you.